channel. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to look at something I got in the mail yesterday. Um, I ordered this a few weeks back uh, from a gentleman by the name of Dave. Uh, he owns a company by the name of Sewn Home and they make hot tents uh, amongst other things. They make teepees. He'll make whatever you want. Um, so without further ado, why don't we go outside and take a look at this thing. I will go through the setup and we'll look at some of the specifications. All right, so here we are in the backyard. Um, let's do a quick setup and then we'll review the specifications of everything. Let's try this guy with the wood stove. Let's uh, take a closer look inside. actually quite spacious in here. I've got uh, lots of room inside to move around. Great amount of room uh, for wood to bring in wood. I've got uh, a lot of room here for gear and probably with uh, two people, uh, two people and a dog, there's enough room for all your gear and uh, wood and everything you need to be self-contained inside the hot tent. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I love it. Oh, hopefully uh, that's enough light in here. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with uh, this setup. Um, the, the, the craftsmanship is, uh, is amazing. Um, I, I just quickly looked over all the seams and it's like absolute perfection. Everything is, uh, very well built. I'm very quite happy with it. Um, so let's go over some of the specifications. Um, this one is seven and a half feet tall. It is, uh, 12 feet wide at, uh, its widest diameter. Um, it's got a five inch uh, stove jack. Um, that's kind of one of the requirements that I asked that he do because um, I wanted, I have the Alaskan wood stove, which is more than enough to heat this tent. Um, but far too often, I mean, I've done hot tenting in the past with friends uh, and they usually have like a smaller wood stove, like the Trekker. Um, and there was nights when we were kind of wishing we had uh, a slightly um, more, uh, a larger capacity stove. Um, so this time I just went with the larger one. It's better to have a little more than not have enough. 
uh, this is gonna be get a, I'm gonna get a lifetime of use out of this so I want to just do, go this way the first time and and not uh, worry about uh, anything else after that um, it's really windy out here today like probably gusts of up to 30 40 kilometers an hour and um, it actually wasn't too bad uh, setting up the hot tent uh, once this is the first time setting it up so I took a took a little bit of figuring it out uh, you know the right way uh, but after after I got it kind of dialed um, yeah there was like absolutely no problem um, we don't have enough snow to um, to uh, fill the snow the sod skirts or the snow skirts up uh, otherwise that will give us more um, a lot more uh, trapped air in here without getting a, a wind going through um, it's very stable it's uh, it's really good um, the the shape of the tent is um, the shape of the tent is a hexagon uh, therefore it has six uh, actual sides to it um, Hexacon is like one of the strongest, most natural designs uh, in nature. Uh, so therefore, um, it's it's quite robust and very stable once it's set up and uh, staked down really good. Um, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, guy out D rings uh, to add more stability. Uh, obviously, if, you, if you're going to get into some serious uh, heavy winds, you can actually um, run some more uh, lines out just to give you more stability. Um, what else am I forgetting? Uh, I've got a single zipper. Uh, however, the zipper has uh, two heads on it, one at the bottom, one at the top. So uh, if it gets a bit smoky in here or I need to vent some of the, the uh, internal air out, I can open the top zipper from the top down and create um, a small uh, ventilation chamber. Um, back to the uh, uh, stove jack, uh, there is a cover for it so when you're not using your stove you can um, cover the stove jack so you don't get any anything coming in, in there. Um, what else? Uh, Grace seems to really like it a lot. She's already in here, this crazy dog, trying it out. There's gonna be like, this will be a perfect tent for the two of us. Uh, it'll be a perfect tent for Solo because it is only 20 pounds uh, total weight uh, because it, you don't require any framework or uh, external structure. It's, 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 it's quite lightweight for what it is. Um, basically maximum floor space um, minimal design, not a lot of headroom. Uh, so, you know, my whole thing is I love getting outdoors, uh, but I go outdoors to be outdoors. I don't want to go outdoors, uh, to go indoors. So I know there's a lot of tents out there and there's nothing wrong with having a tent that has lots of room there. You know, there's times when we want to have social events and do all that kind of thing. Um, I'm not really a social event kind of guy, so I kind of like just a real basic setup ample floor space, lots of room for everything I need in here to be self-sustained. Um, the, the only disadvantage, I guess, if you're a social person and you want lots of room, there's not a lot of external, like, headroom around the edge because there's not, um, there's no walls in this tent uh, to raise it up to give you more headroom. But uh, having said that, this, I, I'm really happy with this design. It's, uh, it's like more than perfect. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this one for, for years to come. Um, thanks for tuning in, thanks for stopping by. Um, Grace, say goodbye. Say bye, say bye. Choo choo choo. She's crazy. Um, yeah, stay tuned because in a few weeks time I'm gonna be heading into the back country with a setup. And um, yeah, spend probably about four days in the bush uh, just to give it a full on, uh, full go here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Time to do all the tweaking. Stay tuned. Thanks again for joining in and please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, uh, subscribe if you want to see more upcoming trips and other, other videos. 
Um, leave a comment uh, if you have any more questions, if I missed anything, I, which I always do. But uh, yeah, thanks. Cheers.